Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so right here, we have the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. And yeah, the original one that I had, um, yeah, it was given away. But I don't know, it was something that kind of crossed my head, especially after using the, um, what is it called again? Oh, yeah, the Revel V Plus 5G. When using that phone, um, it just kind of triggered me to say, hey, you know what? Like, I feel like using a OnePlus device. And so, um, went my usual route in finding these types of phones, found one at a decent price, grabbed it. Um, so now I'm sitting here with it and um, I'm kind of happy that, you know, I picked another one up. Besides the fact of being able to do an update, revisit, review with you guys, just, you know, playing around with it. I mean, yeah, there are some things that it's going to be lacking in, like any, any smartphone device. And I don't know, I guess I would say um, through my years of doing this, Mentality and mindsets change. Looks like all these notifications are coming in. But mentalities and mindsets are changing. Um, the need to specifically only use Google Pixel phones is not something that's weighing heavy on me. Do I still like Google Pixels? Of course. Of course. Um, hands down, no questions asked. Um, if I could use a Google Pixel device, I will use it. I'm using it right now to make this video. But... Um, I kind of found myself just wanting to, you know, do different things, use different things, right? And they don't necessarily have to act identically to a Google Pixel phone as far as the UI, as far as the um, user experience. Um, those things don't matter to me anymore. The fact that the OnePlus Nord N10 5G is still running Android 11, and I believe you know, <laughs> I've seen somebody literally in OnePlus's community, like, championing for OnePlus to please bring Android 12 to the OnePlus Nord and 10 5G. And I agree with the person, if they can make it happen, make it happen. But it's not gonna be something that's like detrimental to my user experience for the OnePlus N10. I'm just gonna call it the OnePlus N10. It's a mouthful to say Nord and 10 5G and all that stuff. Um, but one thing that kind of like really tripped me out about it is that I compared the specifications of the OnePlus N10 to the OnePlus N20. And it does, it does feel like that the N20 took a step backwards. Um, I like the design of the N20. I think, you know, it looks pretty cool. Um, but it's the reason that I went with the N10, um, higher refresh rate display, right? So 90 hertz refresh, even though it's not an importance for me, but I feel like some people are going to want that to be something that they need to know about. Um, the cameras, I'm going to test them out in the next couple of days. We're going to be taking lots of pictures and stuff like that. I'm actually going to head outside here in a little bit when I'm done recording this video. Um, since I pretty much had like a long day and a lot of stuff has happened. So, um, but I'm going to take some photos and some video samples, upload those to the gram, upload some shorts, directly from the OnePlus. So you guys can get an idea of how it sounds and what the video quality looks like. Photos will be uploaded to Instagram so you guys can see how the um, photo qualities are. And if, you know, the one thing that I did say in the previous um, review of the OnePlus N10, I was kind of uh, disappointed on the video camera performance. And for me, it's a little bit different just because here in the city, we deal with like, you know, um, excessive heat warnings. And so phones are impacted by the heat outside. Believe you me, this phone um, it, on my lunch break, it heated up pretty fast. It normally didn't, but it did today. But that's, you know, we're hitting like, you know, 111, 114. Um, the outside, you know, air, the heat from the sun and everything, it's going to impact how the phone performs. So, yeah, it, it did heat up quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna actually test that out and see if that's something that's going to happen. I'm gonna take some photos inside here. This is my break room area. I'm gonna take some photos in here and just kind of post them up on Instagram. I'm gonna take some photos outside with outside lighting and see how that goes. Um, all these things are gonna be set in place in a future um, full review update on the OnePlus N10. This is just, you know, I guess you can say, not really like a first impressions because it's not my first impressions with the phone, but it is to that degree a first impressions review of having it back. And I'm quite happy to have it back. Um, the display is nice. I definitely enjoy the display. So I think it's one of the good ones out there. Um, but yeah, we'll have to make that video a little bit more in depth with the review. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys let me know by smashing that like button. Um, that's pretty much it for right now for this video. Thanks 
for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one. And as always, aloha.